Hello, welcome back again to another video. So in this video, we're going to look at how we can create custom gradient or apply the preset that is already there to our shape or text. Let's see how we can do that. First, let's click the ellipse here and place it on the canvas. To enable the gradient panel, come to the view, views, and then you can see the gradient here. Click on that and on the left hand side here you can see the fill, stroke layers, properties and gradients. Now let's apply the gradient. Here in the gradient property here you can see we have the plus sign, add preset and we have the remove. We also have the fill which comes in as linear and radial, also stroke, linear and radial. And now to apply one of the preset to that, select the shape. And then come to the preset here and then click and add a preset. Let's select one of the preset and then click OK. Now if you come here and you can you see that it is not being activated, make sure to click on the shape and you can see it's being activated. So we want to apply this uh, gradient color to our shape. So click on the fill and you can see we just fill in. To click on the redial, make sure to remove the linear by clicking on the linear and then click on the redial. Let's remove this and apply the linear. And if you want to control the angles of the linear or the how much each of this color to occupy the shape, click on the edit tool and you have this little nice uh, line here which is the control line. So you can control how much of the color to be applied to the shape and the angle. If you go to the redial again, you can see the same thing. You can also control how much of the color and the angle. What about creating a custom gradient? Again, to create a custom gradient, come to the little add gradient button here, click on it. And if you haven't created a gradient, and this is the first time you're going to create a gradient, you won't have any color on the custom gradient. Now that we have that, we do a double click here and you can see these two little black lines here. These are the borderline for each of the colors. So we already have three different colors here, which the green and the yellow mixed together here. We can add different colors to that or we can add another line more or the borderline here by doing a right click and add color. So now we have one, two, three, four, four different colors to add. So let's start with the green. So let's leave the green there. But here we're going to change this one. So selecting it, right click and edit color. We're going to change this to blue. And then let's change this to something like this. And then let's change the last one. So this is the color that we just created, the gradient. To apply this to our shape, let's click there. Then come back again and now click on the fill. And now we just apply our custom gradient. We can control it by the handles here. Remove this and apply it again. Move this, apply this and you can control again. You can also add the stroke by clicking here. But make sure to enable it. To enable it, go to the layers and the ellipse. Click on it and you can see the stroke here has been disabled. So let's just click this to enable it. And now we can create a different gradient to apply to this. So let's click on here, double click, get this in, get this in, change the color to a different color. Let's change this one as well. Select that and selecting it and apply to our stroke. You can change the thickness of the stroke by coming to the stroke here and then in the style and you can change the width. Again, you can change the gradient here to apply let's go to the gradient let's add a preset and apply this to our stroke and control the angles so in this video we look at how to create custom gradient using the preset and control the angles or the color of the gradient thank you for watching see you back again in another video